So the iPhone 14 series is coming soon and Apple is not playing games anymore. These devices will be the biggest shift in terms of design. Now last year the iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 Pro had massive differences in terms of high refresh rate display, cameras and also GPU. Yes, Apple is clearly pushing the Pro series, making the standard 13 and mini look less powerful. The iPhone 13 had 4-core GPU and the iPhone 13 Pro Max had 5-core GPU, both with A15 silicon on top. Yeah, in normal usage, both were awesome, but in graphic tasks and gaming, the Pro series was slightly more powerful. Shocking news coming in from Ming Chi Ko. Apple is not stopping here. This time the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Max will have same last year's A15 silicon which is fine cause A15 is powerful. Yeah, powerful than a Gen 1 we have in Samsung or OnePlus. But this is wrong. See what Apple doing is trying to push Pro series and doing no to less changes in the standard and Max variant. So yes, all in all, we'll have same notch in 14 and 14 Max, same CPU, same 60Hz display, 6 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM and likely same pricing. The huge changes, however, is coming to the Apple iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. ming Ko says Apple is gonna use A16 Bionic powerful CPU and this with 6 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM. This will be an insanely powerful combination cause leaks are the A16 is based on N5P TSMC process yeah, not to mention it is confirmed the Pro and Pro Max are getting this eye shape hole punch finish which looks better than a notch. The exciting part is John Prosser say Apple will be using titanium frame and flush camera layout in all these devices. See me I always pick max out devices but for those planning to get iPhone 14 coming from 13 or 12 you should save some and get the Pro series this year or wait for iPhone 15. Some leaks on iOS 16 speculations are Apple is gonna bring new interactive widgets like you can play pause music from the widget itself. New icons are likely coming here, yeah, they may finally do some changes in the icons, last time I think it was years back, so get ready. We may see new wallpaper picker settings as well which was initially meant to appear in iOS 14 but clearly got delayed and now it is coming to iOS 16. This setting shows Apple giving option to pick from official wall or gradient finish or classic colors. Some changes coming to notification menu and quick setting panel as well. This is all guys, thanks so much for watching, your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.